An academic who warned more than two years ago that the country was slipping towards extremist tendencies said the religious rhetoric in Malaysia remains more regressive than progressive. Said Farid Alatas, a Malaysian who serves as Professor of Sociology at the National University of Singapore, said the topic of religion had not always been contentious. He blamed politicians for making it so, saying they tended to manipulate interest in religion to get political support. When religion becomes strong, politicians find it useful and expedient to use it as a tool, he said. That's where the problem lies. But I want to stress that it's not religion that's the problem. Any ideology or value system, if it's meaningful to the people, will be manipulated and abused by politicians, he said in an interview with FMT. Referring to the breakdown in ties between AMNO and PAS, he said it was both a good and a bad thing. It was good because it had put brakes on the Islamization agenda, he said. When I say the Islamization agenda, I mean the more extremist agenda, because in principle, we're not against Islam, but we're against the regressive understandings of Islam that they have. He said the development was bad because it showed a lack of maturity in politics among dominant parties. We would expect truly Islamic parties to be concerned about the welfare of the entire nation. They should also be concerned with rooting out corruption and with the need for harmony between different religious communities and races, he said. He also said most Malaysians, Malays and non-Malays, were in economic suffering, adding, they should feel a sense of solidarity and push for a more just and better government. If they think along class lines and along the lines of issues rather than racial or religious criteria, then we have a chance of having a better government.